some of the key findings that we have done through research about education sector. And I'll be highlighting five key findings, though we have created a detailed report and you can get that on techreview.in. The first thing is that the needs for change in education, there are many reasons for that. And many are not aware of all those reasons. I've been in conversations and I've spoken to many global education leaders that have spotted those reasons. The first being the workforce skills and demand have changed drastically and the education model has not been able to keep pace with it. The second is that we are a service economy now and the uh, shift towards service economy has not been reflected in the education model. The third is change. Change has become a hallmark of our culture but the education sector is not apt to like it's not getting to create these, prepare the students for the change. The fourth point is information. The information universe is growing day by day and hour by hour. The old model, education model, based on memorization and content mastery is no more effective. The last, and I can bet that this, this is on the top of the list when we talk of societal changes, is technology. Technology is on top of these reasons. We can easily see these changes, but we have not seen education model has adopted it efficiently. The next uh, key find, next uh, is successful, techno what does the successful technology integration and 21st century education initiative require? And we have got to know that it requires sustained ongoing professional development with the support of teachers, teacher leaders, and administrators. If you are going to get serious about 21st century education systems, we cannot be happy and satisfied by isolated success stories. We have to share and scale those best practices. The next finding is that people think that revolution has come to from, come, should come from policy makers, but I believe that it will come from grassroots movements. It will come from leaders like you who will do things in the right way which will add to a social movement. I guess education cannot be improved overnight and it cannot be improved by a single organization. We require a community to improve education, to improve education. And that is what we are trying to create, do, create one. A Tech Review is a community of and for everyone involved in education technology to connect and collaborate both online and offline to discover, learn, utilize and share about the best ways technology can help improve <coughs> learning, teaching and leading in the 21st century. We have our, our efforts and, uh, and the research we have put in to con create connect with, with various stakeholders in the education sector is what, and the vision to create a community from ground up, backed by research, is what defines us best. We aim to spread awareness on education technology and its role in 21st century education through research and sharing the best practices, by facilitating events, training and professional development program, consultation for its adoption and implementation. We want to create an ongoing dialogue on how 21st century skills and knowledge can be embedded into education and what role does technology play. Through, through our community, the, uh, I just wanted to tell you about the power of the community. We have been able to answer these questions. What 21st century outcomes the community identifies as essential for students today? What student outcomes are the most important? How do we prepare educators to produce such student outcomes? How can you put such an initiative in your institution? Do you have a well-considered plan to integrate technology? And does it tie somewhere with the 21st century education initiative? Through our research with global educators, we have spotted these 21st century skills that should be the learning outcomes for all the leaders and teachers sitting out there. Uh, I would not go into the details here, 
but uh, just to mention that to be college and career ready, the student learning must go beyond the, the current curriculum and the core subjects. It must include the 21st century knowledge and skills mentioned over here. And, and the, the most critical, I would say, amongst these are EdTech and ICT literacy. Because this is a skill that will enhance even the other skills. When we talk of 21st century teaching, teacher's role is to facilitate her students' ability to use the 21st century skills. And she, she can do it best, or I do it best, the only way to do it is by modeling and demonstrating those skills. The 21st century teachers, apart from modeling these skills, need to be aware how to integrate technology into the curriculum and how to integrate those 21st century skills. And yes, this is only possible if the teacher has a clear vision and defined learning outcomes for a classroom. And it is supported by the administrator or the leader in the school. To, to be a leader right now in the education sector, it, it requires that you go, that you adapt the change. And you, you want to work on those things to support the teachers, because it's only then the teachers will be embracing the change. We have basically categorized it into seven steps to co-create and adopt a vision for 21st century education. When I say co-create, you need to involve the community, the teachers, the students, the parents, and many, even, even many uh, schools have practiced to reach out to after school programs. You need to communicate that vision to create a community consensus. You need to align your system to your vision. You need to build professional cap capacity. You need to focus on 21st century curriculum and assessment. You need to support your teachers. You need to provide them the tools and resources. And last but not the least is to embrace the change. If, if you cannot, if you don't adopt the change, you, you need to improve and innovate always. You cannot be satisfied with the current stage. Based on these facts, we have uh, designed a LTL21 TPD, that is called Learning and Teaching and Leading in the 21st Century Training and Professional Development Program. It is a program to guide students, teachers and administrators for learning, teaching and leading successfully. This is especially designed for teachers who are looking to enhance their teaching practices and administrators who want to bring who want to bring Our professional development is strategically aligned to support the goal of ensuring 21st century readiness for students. We help teachers and administrators to possess, teach and assess 21st century knowledge and skills. And we do that through keynote presentations, hands-on workshops, online courses and web live webinars by world-renowned learning, teaching and leading authorities not only in India, because we are a global community. With the team of global educators, we have been able to define our services like custom professional learning. If you have a specific learning need in mind, we, we with our team of experts and leaders can help you out in defining and designing that pro professional learning personalized program. Since every institution's culture is different, we work closely with our schools and colleges so that we, we can create workshops as short as one day or as long as a week, depending on their needs. Some of our specialities include 21st century skills, Google Apps, open integrating open educational resources, flipping the classroom, web 2.0 tools and apps, and BYOD and one-to-one -one implementation for mobile learning. The consulting services define, offer, offer to meet the needs of students and teachers in the digital age. So if you have specific learning experience in mind, we can work with you to build a custom professional development package. 
I would like to uh, end it with my final thoughts. An education without technology will not prepare students for the world they will live in. Technology should be ubiquitous in education. The use of technology is inevitable as students are born with technologies. So it must be our duty to bring it to the heart of education. Because when these technologies combine with teachers and leaders who are extraordinary, provide an opportunity to revolutionize education. But what we want institutions to understand is that bring, investing in new technologies will not take a school or college forward until it is supported by, effectively by people. A school, a college is also a community which develop, develops its own culture. A principal and teacher can make changes in the school culture and environment. When you do the changes at ground, this will affect the whole education system. Sir Ken Robinson once stated that what great leaders understand is that leadership is not about command and control. It's about climate control. That is, you need to create a climate of possibilities where the chances of desired outcomes are increased. The role of a leader is not to create ideas, but to create a culture where everyone has ideas. Through my initial experience in community building, I have found that when you actually start reaching out to people and share your ideas with them, you get tremendous amount of input and feedback, and they help you get where you wanted to go very quickly. This connection will open doors for you that you could never open by yourself, and many opportunities will come your way. Because when you take those early adopters and innovators and put resources behind them, they will exceed the expectations and outperform. And then it will spread like wildfire and add on to the revolution in education. I would like to thank you for, for the time. And uh, here's how you can contribute to the community. You can share a guest post, article, thoughts about education technology, share your research with the community. You can share your classroom practices with the community. You can share your technology use in the campuses with the community. You can be a speaker, trainer, because we conduct events and training professional development programs. Be a consultant for the community. What we, what we want people to do is create, be, be a leader themselves and add on and help be a part of the community. Discover, learn, utilize and share is what we believe in and what I would love that you also believe in. Thank you. Thank you, Vikash. Uh, at a time when information multiplies rapidly, community is something that the education sector needs, definitely.